Hello and welcome back to this course. My name is Sajish and this video we will see how to use delta sharing uh, to share delta table outside this Databricks. So we can use a delta share for sharing between two Databricks workspaces or Databricks to non-Databricks consumers. And this demo we will see how to share it with the non-Databricks consumer. Uh, this is my workspace so what we have to uh, use is like uh, go to this unity uh, catalog account console like you can log in accounts.databricks.net and uh, where we need to enable this delta sharing okay so what you have to do is just go to the data and choose your meta store and uh, where we have an option called delta sharing so this we have to enable so maybe I, i'll show that back to this uh, databricks workspace so if you are here into the data and uh, here you can see there is an option called delta sharing so you can see uh, this external delta sh uh, sharing is disabled so if you try to create a recipient uh, which is non uh, databricks so that will not work since it's a disable so to enable that what you have to do is just use this option okay expiry date so we are not uh, setting any expiry date or how many days you want to keep it uh, or else you can leave it and uh, enable so this is enable and uh, lifetime um, expiry and uh, now back to this page and uh, refresh if you can see this external data sharing should be in enable state right so this is changed so this is needed if you want to uh, share your delta table outside um, databricks and which is also a non databricks consumer so that is the first step you need to do so go to this unity catalog say account.databricks.net uh, choose the catalog uh, meta store sorry uh, then there is an option called delta sharing uh, to share uh, this data with uh, outside uh, this databricks workspace so what you have to do is first create a recipient so recipient uh, tells you uh, to whom you are sharing it with this okay so my i'm just some name okay and uh, this is this entry databricks identifier or sharing identifier is needed if you are sharing with this with some other databricks where unity catalog is enabled so we are leaving that and adding some comment okay so delta sharing for power bi and create okay so this uh, will create a link okay you have to copy this link uh, what you have to do is share with uh, this link with your consumers who is going to uh, use this connectivity to connect or delta sharing to share that tables okay so i uh, give this and uh, maybe in this demo i'm using the same uh, machine so i'm using that link and that link will help you to download a credential file so this is a one time activity so once it's downloaded this link will automatically uh, become a disabled state okay so it's a one time usage and what you have to do is just uh, uh, use that file and uh, let let me open that file in a notepad so this is how the that file looks like and here you can see there is something called bearer token and endpoint and uh, expiry so we just need this bearer token and endpoint for connecting from our um, client okay so keep it aside and at the same time if we are coming back to this databricks uh, data explorer so you can see this is activated so activated means we have already downloaded Okay, so back to this delta sharing and uh, you can see in the delta sharing 
uh, recipients we have created one recipient and which is um, type of token and it's activated so we have downloaded and uh, have that file already available so the next step we will use this power bi and uh, sorry uh, before that so let's create some share and uh, we will um, identify what are the tables we are going to share with so for that the same delta sharing share then uh, create a new share and share name uh, something like a power bi share whatever and uh, add some comment and then create so once you created this share so you have to add this recipient okay so you can add this recipient this option is there uh, just add to whom you are going to share so this is the uh, one which we already added so the recipient we added for this and asset what is asset we are asset means in the sense of table so we can add table so that that tables will be available in into our share so let's uh, go to this lineage catalog and uh, go to this lineage schema and whatever the tables we want okay so dinner price then dinner this two table i want to share it with the, uh, this delta share and save it okay so that's it so what we have done so far is created a share then also created a recipient so added that recipient with this share so again uh, if you want to uh, get that from the data so there is something called delta sharing and where you can see shared by me and shared with me you just you have to choose the shared by me and it will list what are the share and uh, what are the recipient we have attached etc so this is the share and you can open that and uh, see the detail what are the assets so these are the two tables we added and we can add uh, multiple tables also the multiple recipient also we can add here so this is one share we have added at the same time uh, at the client side let's open power bi okay i am going to use power bi desktop for this demo so uh, which i have installed in my uh, machine so now uh, i have opened my power bi desktop so what you have to use uh, so you can use this get data a menu and uh, choose this delta share for connecting uh, that delta delta share so what you can say search delta here so this is something you need to use so we have to uh, use this delta sharing server url so this is nothing but uh, this endpoint url okay so this one we can copy and paste here then uh, it will ask to enter bearer token so which is also from the same uh, file that we have downloaded so you can uh, see this bearer token so just copy that and use here and then connect So you can uh, see this sharing details. Power BI share has come here, and uh, lineage schema, and uh, these are the tables available. So you can load this table, and uh, whatever the transformation that you can make from the Power BI, you can do. And uh, uh, this is something like uh, the, you, you can uh, view that content here. So technically, these tables are available in our Databricks workspace and in the Unity catalog. And there is no duplication of data so you can share this live table and if if you make any changes to this table on the databricks uh, site it will automatically reflect here so this way uh, you can share data with the non databricks consumer and this is a one way of delta sharing hope this is very clear thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video bye